So, yeah, this is what I do to deal with this stupid insanity. You put on a uniform, I do this. Yeah, hey. You know? Uh, yeah, I hear you. How long were you in? 24. Four for the Corps and 20 for the Navy. 37. 37. 28 Navy, 9 Army. Yeah, <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, man. I, I think I see progress. Do you see progress? Uh, with this guy, I'm yeah. kind of happy with what he's doing. He's gonna he's gonna stub his toe, but I, you know, we're all human. So well, I'm gonna not just that. He's facing a lot of opposition. Oh, we got good, enemies good. at the gates, man. We got enemies in the gates. You know, you know what he's taking on? He's got a hand of the shit sandwich. Oh, shit. And we were on the we were like we were like this on the you know we were just at the cliff. Yeah. We were walking off of it, and, and he just went. You yeah, know, come on back. Yeah, come on. Wait a second. And now the momentum, look how they're busting. I mean, Hollywood's falling. These people are falling all over themselves. Well, oh, they're screwed. Yeah. This is going to, you talking about opening up Pandora's box. Yeah. They have done that. There's, there's, yeah. them, them boys are back there. It's kind of weird. We're in deep shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because the sex thing is their weak link. Yeah. Because exactly. they are all about deviance and this sex child ritual satanic yep. crap. And once you just open up a little bit of that, man, that's already opened oh, up. Yeah. I mean, this this the, idiot, I've been stumping liberals with this thing, you know, because Obama sent their daughter to him as to be an intern in January. So I've been asking liberals, I said, how do you justify this? How do you justify, because everybody knew that, and he even if it, He was the couch man. Yes, and even if, you just take out Weinstein altogether. Yeah. Why would you send your 18-year-old daughter into that environment knowing what it is? Exactly. I mean, what the, you know. I'm with you. 100%. But the other thing that's bugging me right now is the damn Las Vegas shooting. Oh, yeah. We're from we're from the battle. Get out. Yeah. From Vegas? No, I'm from, we're from Reno. Oh, okay, good. But I know a lot of people. I was in law enforcement for 20 years, so I know a lot of the guys down there. And What's your take on this? Because this is just like... You know, I served with that black cop that was killed. That Get night. out, really? He was in my army unit. Yeah. Really nice. Nicest man you ever want to meet. It's just, oh, I just torn up about it. That's what, I mean, I want to get to the bottom of this because it is like everything else they're doing. That they're, they're treating us like mushrooms here. Yeah. And now, things keep changing every day. Oh, yeah, I know. Well, in, in, in the sheriff, I, ha, I didn't know this sheriff. I knew the former sheriff and because uh, we worked together when I was right. sheriff. But uh, this guy here, I don't know. But he was getting a little testy on the, on the yeah. thing and because of the, I mean, a lot of pressure. Oh, well, you would think. And I don't know if to answer your question, we're going to have a meeting. In fact, I'm headed for the Reno day after tomorrow. We're going to have a meeting. It'll be interesting to see what he's telling the media versus what he's going to tell us as former sheriff and chief. So, well, can I give you some of the common questions I'm getting out? Ants, you know, questions Absolutely. I'm getting out. I mean, this is because it just seems to me like, at that table, like this morning, the judge issued a gag order on the witnesses. Well, why would you do that when the suspect's dead? Yeah. I mean, what's there going to be to win? Okay, uh, then, we're talking about a casino, which you and I know, both know, have more, it's like, a, it's, a, it's its own fusion center. Oh, yeah. Right. So, where are, are the videos of him checking in, carrying the luggage up, walking around? Exactly. I mean, these are just obvious questions. So, you as a law if you were up there right now, if you were the sheriff, how would you answer these questions when they're so obvious? So I wouldn't have a press conference until I had the information and knew exactly what happened. I, I wouldn't take on the heat. I said, we'll get to you when we have what we need in the story. And, I, and I've been but, in that But it's position. been two weeks. You think, yeah, you think they didn't release, release the videos. And well, then, we're getting, then we're getting reports of people that do give their iPhones and iPads and stuff, yeah. getting them back from the FBI wiped. Oh, yeah. The FBI, I've worked with the FBI, too. Now, you know what the FBI, the FBI stands for? Full-blown idiots. Oh, yeah. Now, they, of there course... There's some good men, don't get me wrong. Oh, no, no, there's good men. I had a sister work for the FBI for 27 years. You did? She, no, my sister, but she abruptly resigned because I think of the corruption. Well, it's... Oh. It, she was in there almost 30 years. She was at the top of the chain in Alabama. And said, I had enough. Well, well, she I, doesn't I mean, even say much, but you can tell. I mean, when you get to that top level, and then you just like, I'm out of here. You know, almost. Pull up what Comey did there. Yes. Yeah. I mean, he well, screwed the, the whole organization so hard. Why is he in jail? Well, I think it was either that or Why is she in jail? Why is she in jail? But that's it. I mean, we were at a revolution. I said the same thing about McNamara. He should have been in jail, what he did to us in Vietnam. I mean, that's sad. We can go all the way. We can go a long way back. Yeah, yeah. We've seen enough. 
because I both so desert corruption. storm like and, stuff and in Hollywood, it goes on and, everywhere. Uh, oh, Vietnam. I mean, it's ridiculous. You know. Where are you from? This young lady is a professor, Iris Mack. Oh, okay. oh you from? Uh, she, this Hollywood. is the number one bestseller for wealth management yeah, in the country. Me, she worked with uh, Larry Summers oh. on Wall Street. Oh wow! Wow. Yeah. This is her? Yeah. Okay. Well, how cool. That's me when I clean up, yeah. <laughs> well, now. Well, I just, I, actually, I just came over to see if he was still alive. Because I, I live here now, and every other day I may walk by and see him. Last time I came, he was in the middle of a big argument with this huge, remember that, the two ladies. I mean, I said, I'm out of here. The blue hair. I mean, it's like, yeah. it looks like, it looks oh, like yeah. women, but like it's like trucks. They're coming up and trying to moralize to me because of that. And I'm like, uh, let me get out of here. I know. I, I got things to do. So yeah. I got, you know, me, I just, <laughs> live. I, this is what I, I, they don't call me badass. Like 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 <laughs> I just light into them. I don't care. It's like, screw you. This is, this is her. You really want to check her out, what she's doing. Yeah, she's got another bestseller coming out. It's a dictionary on on Twisted Trading. So, yeah, 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 that's her specialty. Yeah, that's how they look. I mean, I'm yeah, like, what the hell? Oh, well, that is one of her. Yeah, this is. Like they, like she could take yeah. me and him together. Yeah, this is her other card. This card has all her sights on it. This is a, you can get hey, I want a picture with these two. <laughs> <laughs> and we can say, look, are you, guys, are you guys familiar with InfoWars at all? No. Alex yeah. Jones. Alex, Alex Jones. I'll give you some information that we were both on the yeah, show. Yeah, we're going to get on a boat. Yeah. Are you going on the cruise? Yeah. Oh, okay, where are you guys going? Are you ready? You don't know. <laughs> When you bought the ticket, did you find out what the force No, I just, they gave me a ticket, I had to get on a boat. <laughs> kind of like in the Navy, you don't give a damn what uh, To be young again, carefree, and this. There's a get out of jail free so card from Hillary Clinton for you. Okay. 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 All right, sir, it's a pleasure. Don't eat and drink too much. No. Cruise ships can be dangerous. You got brush and you hang it, keep it right. All right, thanks. All right. Have fun. Thank you. Bye, guys. Hey. Yeah, I was going to stop by after I went over there. I know, I know. I'm out of here. I mean, first of all, I was really busy anyway. Yeah. But I'm like, what the? You know what I think it is, though? Not that I have a thing against what you do, but I think because of all the stuff in the news about the oh, sure. So women are sensitive. I have sure. a lot of friends who like normally don't talk about it, but they know it's not just Hollywood. It goes on everywhere. I mean, no, look no, at me. No, no, it's been being pushed for a long time. I was, was this whole. They listen. The liberals have made. I've ruined everything. They've ruined comedy. You can't. But it makes them look bad now after what they try to do to Trump. You know. Well, yeah, that's why. Right. They had no facts, and now you see every other person in Hollywood is coming out. I got a video. Eating up. Oliver Stone. I got a. They, they I, did, I, know. I got a video up of this little Scottish girl, cute little Scottish girl. Who, was, who told me it's great, and I've heard this over and over again, but she articulated it the best. She goes, She was out here? Yeah. And she says, I was a bust out snowflake. I believed everything we believed. I was everything. They did what they are. And then when Trump started running, because of when you, you've brought it up, we've all brought it up, the enormous amount of negativity yeah, that was coming at him forced her to go look, yeah, you go look at, at the it. other side. And that's what I did. I listened to the And then she speech. went, I, they don't, she just gave it all up. She just. And, but they don't stop. That's the problem. It's one thing to do a Good. Don't let them, get, 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 let them keep on ruining themselves. I know, because even my liberal friends, they're like, I'm just tired of hearing it. Yeah. I mean, like, I'll give you an example. One of my friends is totally, seriously a liberal. But she's now in between jobs. And then she saw Nancy Pelosi on the TV that was talking about the dreamer. She said, I just don't get it. What about us? I said, now you understand. She, I said, these people, they're bending over backwards for people who are not even supposed to be here. But you got a mirror. I mean, when I walk over here from my apartment, I'm stepping 94 over. plus million people out of the world, no, Americans out of the workforce. I'm, you know, more than that. Yeah, more than that. Yeah. So what the hell? You know, what about them? She said, she said, Don't they have dreams? I mean, you can just see the look on her face. She was like finally waking up. I mean, she, you can see the frustration. She was up. She said, what is this with this woman in... <laughs> I mean, and this is a hardcore Democrat. Yeah. I say, now you get it. Yeah, hello. I say, these people fighting for y'all dumbasses, too. Yeah. Y'all could be on the street just like the rest of them. Yeah. And then you up there voting for these fools who have no... <laughs> I mean, Nancy Pelosi all over the TV this week condemning Trump for everything. I'm like, first of all, she should retire because she looks old and crazy. Well, she's... She's not. She's on yeah, psychotropic she, she drugs. Money, why she just go away? She's taking Alzheimer's. There was a expose I know, I this week. You saw that one? Yeah. yeah. All I know, you can tell something must be wrong because they don't act like they. I mean, they don't. You see in the past, the politicians look like they half as try to pretend to care about us. Now they just don't fucking care. So drugs may be a reason why. I don't know, but 
I was just so, I was, I looked at my friend who's a Democrat. She said, I'm not really totally where you are yet, but I'm getting it. She said, because I am a professional. I go to interviews. I'm being interviewed by people who don't speak the language. I mean, that's, she finally fucking getting it. She been interviewed by Polish, Spanish, German. I said, now you see what I'm fucking talking about. But see, I've been doing this for so many years. I'm used to it. And they, see, they thought when I was speaking up years ago, I was either bitter or crazy. I said, I'm not bitter. I'm in Miami Beach with a settlement. Why am I bitter? I'm trying to warn y'all dumbasses. Because see, another another friend of mine, she lives in Houston. And I didn't even know she was thinking all this stuff till this week. Because I had him to call me and I sent him my, just in case, you never, you know, you always talk. And he looked like he was more serious than others because he wanted to put together my portfolio, my CV, bio, resume, I mean, uh, references, and all my websites. And I thought, okay, he's not just a regular head on to call me up and say, you know, yeah. you got it. So anyway, long story short, I had a few friends and professional colleagues put together. And it's good to have it updated anyway, some letters of references. So I gave it to the head hunter, but I kept them also for myself. Because he even wanted the transcript and everything. I'm like, damn, he's serious. So I, maybe he's FBI, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> so long story short, I had a friend of mine from Houston who I work with at Enron. She's an attorney. She worked at Chevron and everything. Real nice woman. She wrote this beautiful letter of recommendation for me. But I was stunned at some of the stuff she wrote. She goes, Iris makes everybody feel like an underachiever. Iris is tenacious. Iris is very honest, very religious. You get an ethical person. She said, but she will fight. She says, I've seen it in the last 15 years. And I said, Monique, Jesus, why you wrote all that? She says, girl, now I'm finally waking up to the stuff you've been saying. Because see, when I was in, in between jobs, getting laid off, fired, they were like snickering. Now she can't find a job. She's an attorney. Well, she doesn't pass the bar exam. That's the problem. But she has worked as a lawyer in different jobs where she didn't have to have the bar exam. She's in Texas. She, and she works in energy. So she goes to interviews after people speak Spanish. I said, now you fucking waking up. Because she thought I was crazy when I said I was going for Trump. I said, y'all, all your ass is going to be out of a job. And you know what's even worse? You got professors that don't speak English. <laughs> You know, one of my major, even I get good references in my, at the end of the semester, students have to do the faculty reviews. Yeah. And I always get references from my teaching and then making a the class lively. But the one of the other common references I get is, she speaks English. <laughs>